Good afternoon, third grade, online learners, Lorenzo, and anybody that might be home from school today. We have a quiz tomorrow. So, in school, we do this handy dandy study guide. And let me just kind of review it for the online learners since they don't have it. Basically, what we say on that is everything that surrounds and affects a living thing, that is your environment. A strong woody root above the ground that supports a tree trunk in wet ground is a prop root. A long flattened root that grows on the surface of the ground and widens at the base, buttress root. To make living things of the same kind, reproduce. Then we have a chart on that page that has seeds in the middle. These are all things that deal with seeds. Water, the first stage of most plants is a seed. The seeds try to travel away from the parent plant. They can do that on wind. They can also hook onto animal fur. Sometimes animals eat fruit, a bird or a bear, and then they leave the seeds behind from whatever they ate. Okay, so that's the general idea of our lesson that's on pages 824 to 827. <clears throat> Online, you will see this study guide that I made under lesson plans and study guides. And it has words that I just mentioned, environment, reproduce, buttress root, prop root, and seed, the first stage of a new plant. Now, some people might say, well, where did the seed come from? It had to come from a plant. Well, let's just say we started with a seed. In the beginning, we started with a seed, and then something grew. A plant grew and gave flowers and created fruit or something, and then another seed came along, okay? Some plants can live in shady environments. Not all plants can. Some need a lot of sunlight. Uh, I know we plant <coughs> flowers around my house in the summertime. They need shady environments. You can't have them in the direct sunlight. We spent $40 on plants, left them in the sun, and went away for three days. When we came back, what happened? They're dead. They're dead. I tried to keep them going all summer and was a losing battle. May. Did you have, oh, sorry. Did you have a question? Yes, um, it won't pop up my weekly journal. Okay, we will take a look at that and see why her weekly journal will not come up. Now, cactuses can store water for a long time. I told you guys earlier in the week, I had cactus plants on the windowsill. I left them in May at the end of the school year. I came back at the end of August, beginning of the new school year, and it's like they were fine. I watered them and a little flower came on top of them. When they have too much water, sometimes they sprout a flower. Many seeds travel away from their parent plants. They want to get away from their parents, start a life of their own where they got enough sunlight, enough rain, and enough nutrients from the ground. If they stay too close to their parents, they're not going to make it. So they find ways of traveling. Animals can eat fruit and leave seeds behind, whether it's a bird flying over top or a bear in the woods, or anything that eats a plant with seeds, even a person. Sometimes when I eat a peach, if I'm outside and I'm in the woods, I have a peach seed. Is there any reason why I should take that home and throw it in the garbage? Colin. There's no reason. You just keep that and plant it. I could keep that peach seed and plant it, or I could just throw it in the woods. It's going to... It's either going to grow into a peach tree or it's not, but it's not hurting the environment. It's biodegradable. What if it's a fake seed, a plastic seed? Should I throw that into the woods? No, no. No, plastic takes sometimes hundreds of years before it disintegrates. So you don't want to put too many plastics. It's better to recycle them and use it again. But if you have a banana peel, a peach seed, an apple seed, um, parts of an orange, an old pear seed, uh, core, the core of a pear, you could throw that into the woods. It's not going to hurt anything. You might even see a tree grow there. All right, so this is a very basic lesson about the environment and different types of roots and seeds and how they travel. Does anybody else have anything they want to add that they learned this week? Call it. Um, that a plant like cactuses, that the um, leaves are their preferred medicine. Oh, yes. I didn't realize that, guys, until I started teaching third grade science. 
The leaves of a cactus plant are the spines that also protect the cactus plant. Those are actually leaves that are very sharp spines. If I learned that in third grade, I forgot about it. So I was really happy to rediscover that or learn that for the first time, that needles on the cactus, they're leaves. They protect the cactus plant, and they do what other leaves do also. Thank you for remembering that. All right, online, Lorenzo, and anybody else that's home today, have a great weekend. Make sure you take your quiz tomorrow. Make sure you have three journal entries this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for three points, ten points on the quiz, and see if you can figure out the trivia, which is usually an 80s song because everybody knows Mr. Monzo came from the 80s. All right, Lorenzo, rock on.